inside Liberty City. This is your talk radio show, Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Hey, you ever had possum? That's too neat. Uh, I really can't say I had well, it. Well, you don't try it sometimes. I tell you, man. Uh, do you have anything else to say, or...? Pigeons. Pigeons are good, too. Sometimes they come with notes attached, just like a fortune cookie with wings. Squirrel. The squirrels are not so good. They taste like goldfish. Meat is real stringy. You know what I mean? Um, actually, I can't say that I do. Um, but, but if I did eat too much squirrel and put on a few extra pounds, I'd use the Dormatron. Unlike those other exercise machines that require you to be awake, the Dormatron can be exercised with you overnight. Let's learn a little bit more about it. I tried everything, and I just Caller, you're on Chatterbox. I want to talk about that bank stuff. Say bad. It's a 
what that's you at all. Why are you talking to the place here, Well, I'm here. Hello? Yes, you can be. What's your question? Bang! 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 What about it? I mean, that's not really a question. The question is, you start with words like, how, why? And they get to your voice going up like this. Go on, please. And it works. You can stop that. How's that? Of course, evil news. If you say the reason to control us, why do you feel the first of the story of the day? I've read books. And what book have you been reading that tells you that the face is evil? Enter the Devil in the Great Cavity Cover up by J. Bill Higginbottom. See what I've seen. If you've heard what I've heard, you never brush your teeth again. Uh, I suppose you're one of those people that says that diet soda makes you go crazy later in life. I told you before, man. No hockey. My tax is paying salary is dancing. Sir, uh, this is a commercial radio station owned by love to advertise the revenue of the salary. And I'm going to go to the next couple minutes for some commercial. But I'd like to say, if anyone else is stressed, might I recommend Equinox from Zybots and Pharmaceuticals? We'll be back after this important message. Now, how? I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I get scared before an important event such as childbirth or a family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need to help navigating life's biggest problems. That's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything. After trying Equinox, I could float with a bug three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep with Equinox and me. That's a bad sponsor to work. Ask your doctor about Equinox. I had a nanny. She was very good. 
Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America. Well, well I'm sure. But, but the thing is that, though, when, when, when I was a naughty boy, I, 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 I could get spanked. That nanny, nanny was spanked me when I was naughty. And now, now Freddy is spanked. But Freddy's naughty. He needs to get spanked. Well, there's some child psychologists that probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. I'm, I'm, I'm just wrong, Basso. It's lovely. Freddy needs a nanny. He needs a nanny, Basso. Freddy being a very naughty boy. How old is your son? How old is your son? I don't have children. I can't stand it at class. But I'm ready to meet the nuts. All right, that's enough of him. God, who gave this guy a green card? This is Chatterbox. We're talking about short guys, nannies, taxes, and anything sane you'd like to bring to the party. Hello, you are on Chatterbox. I was listening to that caller about taxes. It's you that were a little extreme. How do you expect to be a responsible member of society? You don't understand how the government spends your money. Why are people afraid of suffers? Sign and co-sign are two of the most elegant, incredible discoveries of humanity. I mean, the Cartesian coordinates is the best elemental power I find liberating and sexy. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Okay, thanks for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. We'll come back with a special studio guest. Special because he advertises on the radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just want to build a peace ride! ...and not. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I only spent $20,000, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I'm just going stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. But thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head -head 3D virtual reality polka literally anywhere. If it's a flash in the time technology of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of Tomorrow. Remember, only technology makes life worth living. House of Tomorrow. We'll upgrade your system, then you can upgrade your life. And now it is my great pleasure to welcome Fernando Martinez, who says here, Knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed, but for his bed, he needs 
something magical after he is So he starts flirting with the secretary, takes her out for a drink, one thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wonder, a dreamer, a man who has needs, but an idiot, and I can save you. And I can save your marriage. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. <laughs> hey, do only one mentioning the pretty assistant and the office furniture and the Aikarama, my friend. Listen, Laszlo, and listen very closely. Your marriage is a gift. It's a present for me, Bob. But you are a man. I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man, he sees wife all fat, all early, with the dirty diapers and the dirty bangs and the scrubby brush, and who knows what else. He's not thinking of marriage bank. He's thinking about what... Well, you're thinking about your pretty assistant. You already know that, see? Uh, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy for your little secretary with the short skirt and your pretty eyes and the mirror? They're smiling. What then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, my friend. But you, more likely, your marriage is wrong. Your sweetheart, she hates you. Your pretty secretary, she wants you to be her man. You back it to square one. My friend, you and a thousand men like you. For me, once it was so. But then one day, I was driving my car, and I realized, Fernando, you are blessed. You are a miracle. A thousand miracles roll into one. You save the marriage, and you save the man. You don't put the marriage first, and you don't put the man first. Maybe we call it man marriage. And I think to myself, no, this is a bad name. It sounds really dumb. Then I think we call it Fernando's new beginnings, because that is what it is, a new beginning. So, how does this work? It is a miracle, Laszlo, a miracle. A man is a good father, a loving husband, the winner of bread, six and a half days a week. On the spare half day, I save his life. How? By giving him what he needs, and it can flow and work. I give him passion. <laughs> what, with you? That kind of sounds like a limited mark. Last night, you are very prejudiced. I'm gonna like that. But no, not with me. Passion for life. Passion for love. Passion for women. Which he can take home to his wife and them. What, so you act like a pimp? Not a pimp, little man. A savior. In a control environment, I reintroduce the man to a pleasure he has lost. To the miracles of the world. And truly, the results are remarkable. With my unique counseling, a thousand marriages have been saved, and a million more could be saved every day. <laughs> and, and do the wives know about this? In their hearts, Laszlo, they know they have been saved. Uh, okay. We're gonna open it up to the phones if you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy. Ring us now. Hey, oh, cool, we have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing. He's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bunch of a woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He'd come in, he is like a broken man. Like a half a man. A man, if you will. He has no end anymore. And his marriage, it is killing him. Where is the passion? She is gone. Replaced by ugliness. You see, Laszlo, Mrs. Jerry, she's not a pretty lady. She's more like an offensive lioness or a tight end.